Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 24 Baltic Crusader campaign in Europa and Salas 4. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, we finished our war with Riga and it was probably one of the best wars we've done so far because we managed to uh, eat like two countries and uh, significantly decrease the size of the other. So yeah, we ate Riga and the rest of the Livonian order. And we also took like two provinces from uh, Pomerania. It's also considering that Pomerania was our rival. They're not eligible anymore, so that's quite nice. We also managed to humiliate them. And we rival Lithuania in their place. So that's quite nice. And we are currently just working on uh, coring all of this land. Volunteers for the Holy Fight. Ooh. Uh, inspired by our, by our Holy Cause, volunteers from the Catholic world have arrived to help our fight us, uh, help us fight the infidels. And there is Austria asking uh, me for my uh, second province I took from uh, Pomerania because it's a part of the empire. Definitely gonna decline, uh, but it's gonna slightly... Yeah, it's gonna be a slight problem because it actually gives unrest and all the other <coughs> terrible modifiers to the province, but it's gonna expire in like 10 years, so... Uh, it's not it's not crucial. I'd really prefer it not to be in here, but uh, we could handle it. Uh, also, probably gonna have a whole bunch of like different rebels, especially in these provinces, uh, because they have uh, uh, because they have this uh, imperial or unlawful territory. Uh, let's hope Austria would not be willing to attack me because of that. Yeah, Austria is involved in their own wars, in quite a few of them actually. And yeah, I've, between the episodes I've been actually looking around the map and apparently France finally started their war to reconquer um, uh, all, the, all this English land. Uh, and it actually involved quite a few people into the war, like Castile, Portugal, England, Bohemia, or Austria is not in this war, but they are at war with England. Okay, that's weird. But yeah, like, oh, Europe is a mess right now. A mess of wars. Uh, and actually, Austria involved in two wars. If I were to, like, attack some, some uh, member of the Empire, is there a chance Austria would not join? Oh! So, if I were to attack Brandenburg, Austria wouldn't join because they're currently at war with Brandenburg. Who? Oh, okay, so that's actually one of the ways for me to avoid Austria joining again. If they were to be at war with... Okay, who are at war with as well? Brandenburg, Bohemia, Württemberg, these guys. Uh, I couldn't fabricate in Bohemia, but it would be really nice to attack Brandenburg. The only problem is, Brandenburg is allied with Poland. Plus also these small guys. Anhalt and Würzburg. Yeah, actually, Würzburg is not even that small. So, like, stretching quite... Come on, just click. Yeah, stretching quite far, so, actually... Even without, uh, without Austria, taking Brandenburg would be kind of problematic. If not for Poland, I would probably be willing to, like, take him, but... That's kind of annoying. And if I were to take Pomerania, Austria would join, even with all of their wars. Okay, so I should, should actually be paying attention to... Austrian wars more and try to take their enemies uh, when they at, uh, at war with them. Um, gain base tax, gain base production. Get loyalty, get loyalty. Lose influence, gain influence. What about influence? I don't want another one uh, looming disaster to happen or to at least start ticking up. So, what we could get in here? Nobility or burgers? Uh, it doesn't really matter which ones I'm gonna take. So, base production or base tax? I'm just gonna go for base tax. And it didn't even lower burgers that much. Okay, so we have a tech we could take, Diplotech. Uh, we already finished all the ideas, right? So it should be totally fine. New Kirk, Caravel, Naval Maintenance, Colonial Range, and my studies technology using spy, uh, the spy network thing. Okay, sure. Um, Oh yeah, we also lost like a pretty sizable uh, chunk of our fleet, so we probably... Oh yeah, I've already queued the restoration of it. And there is a call to arms against Sweden, or from Sweden. I completely forgot again uh, that our truce with Denmark expired. For fuck's sake, the, uh, Sweden. Okay, before we're gonna accept, at least I'm gonna go and do this thing. I'm gonna set these provinces of... Uh, okay, I need to go to my... Uh, okay, how does it work? 
Diplo feedback opinion. How do I set? Oh yeah, so I'm gonna set these two provinces as crucial interest, as well as like Scania, Holland, Blaken, and this. Maybe, just maybe, it's gonna affect Sweden's opinion somehow. I doubt it, but still, yeah. Um, I for completely forgot that our truce with Denmark expired, so I should have declared uh, this war first, but I didn't. So the war against Denmark, Norway, uh, Bremen, and Utrecht. Just a second war of conquest again. Uh, it would be real nice for me to arrive into Ingermanland, if possible, before. Hmm. <laughs> Could I get? I couldn't get access for Lithuania. Would Denmark try to get access for Lithuania? I don't know. Let's gonna start moving our troops in here. How do? How could I know? Muscovy, Poland. I just gonna accept this war right now because there's no real reason for me not to accept right away. But yeah, looks like we're we're not gonna be able to get access for Lithuania, unfortunately. Hmm. I need to land my troops in Neva like as soon as possible before Sweden gonna be able to get there. Just to at least deny him these provinces. Huh, yeah, looks like this guy's not gonna be asking for Lithuanian's military access. So I guess we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to get some uh, automatic uh, transportation. And just land as... Oh, okay. Apparently they did got access for Lithuania. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get these guys back. And let's move you all to never right away. Um... And yeah, then we're gonna uh, when we're gonna finish this stuff. Actually, I haven't fa even fabricated claims on all of that stuff. Only on Scane. So it would be quite nice to start sieging down Scane as well. Uh, oh, actually, we still have overextension. So what am th what am I even thinking about? Uh, what we could create in here? Hinterpommern. Okay. Uh, Is it this thing? Hinterpommern, Hinterpommern. So we control two provinces of it. Okay. Reasonable, I guess, to create this stuff and auto core all of that. Sure. Um, okay, and we're starting siege, uh, siege of Neva. So we're gonna have at least some part of uh, of the war goes. What What is this war actually about? Swedish conquest of Neva. Oh yeah, so it is, it is his war goal yet again. Uh, hmm. By the way, where's the other five troops? They are here. Okay. Uh, at least I've got some power projection for uh, answering a call against Denmark again. Even though it doesn't really help that much, but oh well. Um, okay, how many troops we need to siege this place down? Only six. So yeah, I don't need to have all of these guys in here. Um, of course, leave our cannon. Talking about cannons, I probably should build some more cannons. Now that we have this uh, sweet uh, army force limit, we actually have tons of it. Uh, but I guess we would need to wait for our manpower to replenish a little bit more. And... Okay. How many troops Denmark and allies actually have? They don't even have that many. Or they don't even have as many as they had previously. Uh, why? I don't remember who Denmark had uh, as, a, as an allies previously. By the way, Scotland still joining all of Swedish wars. Even though they're, like, not helping at all. Okay, so I hope Sweden just gonna be focusing on Norway mostly. And I'm gonna be able to arrive in Skane. Or Skane. Before, uh, before Sweden. Okay, we lost our admin advisor. Let's just get a new one. Stability or... Nas oh, national arrest actually gonna be kind of useful right now. By, by the way, we have 90% on Pomeranian separatists. So, so they're probably gonna, like, rebel next month. Uh, national rest plus one, mission percent plus one. Uh, I'm actually not going to be passing this right now, because I don't have anything to convert. So, no reason for me to get any extra unrest right now. Um, yeah, I would actually need to, like, move my army probably back to Pomerania. I actually would be able... Hmm, maybe not. I'm not going to be able to get to Scane through here, because of all of this straight crossings, I think. Also, what is this ship? And why are you not being attached to everything else? I don't know what's going on. Well, let's go and try to combine all of these smaller or all of these light fleets. And get them back to protect trade in here. 
Uh, come on, just finish Siege of Neva. Oh, come on. Is it, was it like an outbreak? This outbreak? No, it was water shortage. Why? Oh, I guess our uh, percentage just dropped because uh, Sweden uh, stopped the uh, uh, stopped the blockade for a second. Now it was a disease outbreak. That was a lot of freaking troops lost. Okay, but at least we have the siege done. And Pomeranian Separatist is still at 90%. So, oh my goodness, I had this is battle again. At least I didn't lost much. Or at least I didn't lost anything. Okay, Pomeranian Separatist. Kolberg or Stolp? Uh, let's get, let's try to get to Stolp. Let's hope they're not gonna rebel before we're gonna arrive. But it's quite possible. With all of these chances. Yeah. 22% chances each month they're gonna rebel. So we're just gonna sit in Stolp until they're gonna rebel, because they definitely will. And then I guess we're gonna go for Scania. Sweden couldn't alone fight this army. So there's probably not gonna be having any battles for now. Uh, come on, just rebel now. I'm ready. I'm prepared, come on. Come on, dude. Now you want to do this. Oh my goodness, now they're not gonna be uh, not, 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 not gonna be growing, obviously. 20% chance each month. <laughs> so, after like 5 months it should definitely fire, but it's already been like a year. Um, and we got a Goron Dorpat. Could we create a territory in here as well? Oh, it's already in the state. That's even better. I don't even need to core it anymore. Or uh, don't need to spend any extra admin points on that. Come on, Pomeranians. You want to rebel. I'm pretty sure. Cologne something something. You don't really care. Uh, while we're doing this, we might as well go and increase the size of our uh, army. Like, how about... How about what? Um, I don't know how many cannons we actually need for the, uh, for the second... Or for the other, uh, like, bonus to siege. Would free be enough? I'm not entirely sure. Also, I probably wouldn't uh, want to increase the size of my... This thing. So, for now, let's just go and add, like... Two infantry and two cannons. And then we'll see if we want to do anything uh, different. Come on, just freaking rebel. Now, now they're gonna rebel in Riga. Like, I bet it. Even though Riga has a lot lower percent chances. Yeah, look at this. Look at this, guys. This faction has a 19% chance of increasing by each month. They're still not firing. It's bullshit. Let's go and switch this thing off for now. Um, so, fortune for free. Yeah, that seems pretty reasonable. Probably would need to increase the size of our cavalry soon enough, but not not right now. Because they should be flanking pretty fine as is. Mm. Oh, we also have more than 100 papal influence. So might as well go and spend it on extra free stability. Let's actually drop our unrest ever so slightly as well. Oh, come the fuck on, Pomeranians. I don't have time for this bullshit. And Muscovy is already here and sieging down Scania. Muscovy, what the fuck are you doing in this war? Okay, I guess I don't need to hurry anymore, because Muscovy gonna Muscovy gonna transfer Scania to Sweden, and Sweden definitely not gonna give it to me. Uh, by the way, how's my participation? 25%. Yeah, that's that's a little bit less than I would like to have. Mm, but it's probably still not gonna matter, because Sweden wouldn't be willing to give me any lands at any time. Oh, we also still have idea not finished. Offensive ideas. Oh yeah. Okay. Definitely don't need to take uh, to take tech yet. So sure. Plus five extra discipline, and recover army morale speed plus five percent. Sounds pretty nice. Uh, come on, Pomeranians. General Hospital. Clergy loses loyalty. Gets a national manpower modifier and ma manpower recovery speed. Oh yeah. Sounds like a great idea. For ten years, we're gonna get these modifiers. Yeah, we actually need manpower. Pretty badly, and this guy's now upset, and not ups <laughs> they're not upset anymore. <sighs> Why am I so lucky with this Pomeranian rolls? It's just kind of I, I, I don't know. We, we like rolled maybe 30 times already, and didn't got a 20% chance uh, um, for them to spawn. That's actually like really rare, 
And there is a freaking rebellion, finally. And it's unfortunately not, not in stop. Oh well, but we're gonna take the woods penalty. And yeah, we still have enough infantry uh, to not stay at the back. And our cavalry is flanking relatively well, so sure. That seems like a decent composition. And now we probably need to get Riga. Because these guys prob... Oh, they actually now only have 4% chance to rebel. That's actually not that bad. And if I were to actually station my army in there, they're probably gonna start coming down. Trek lead this bandit with Venice. Okay. Um... Hmm. Should I care about them, or should I just go and try to get some extra participation out of this war? Just so Sweden may be gonna give me something? They're probably not gonna give me anything. They're just gonna go and fully annex Norway, and then also just take, like... Two provinces from uh, Denmark because that's that's what they always do. Is there a chance I could actually separate peace and take a province from these guys? Need at least ten war score to make demands. So yeah, how about I'm gonna go and try? Oh, I couldn't get there for fuck's sake. Mm, Brandenburg, we are rivals, so you're not gonna give me access. This guy is hostile, so he's not gonna give me access. And yeah, we couldn't get in there. Any other way. Okay, that's quite disappointing. I guess we're not gonna be getting any extra participation. And we could invest into admin tech, but we're ahead of time, so we're not gonna be doing that. So, is Regan's... Yeah, Regan's separate is actually gonna start coming down. Thanks to my army, and I'm totally... Totally fine with that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, now Moscow just transfers all the control to Sweden. And Moscow is gonna looks like do all the battles for Sweden as well. Just destroy the remains of uh, Danish armies. I should have freaking declared this war first. It was stupid of me. Oh well. Um, Austria, who are you at war with currently? Okay, so we finished your war inside the Empire. So now you only at war with England. What's this war about? Austrian conquest of Calais. Oh, okay. So Austria is trying to take opportunity of France attacking England, but Calais is already finished uh, or sieged by France, so looks like Austria not gonna be getting much in this war. Uh, cessation of church functions. Gain ducats, lose tax modifier, get yearly papal influence, or get free stability but lose some papal influence, which we already don't have that much. Uh, sure. Clergy getting loyalty, nobility loses loyalty, that's fine. I'll just go on decline. And we're at free stability. That actually should increase the speed of uh, our rebellions coming down even more. Hmm. <laughs> should I just go and like try to get here? I don't know. Is my fleet actually protecting trade? They are protecting trade in Baltics here. Okay, that's fine. How much power we have in here? 64 now. That's getting better. Um, by the way, have you got any power thanks to these provinces in uh, Lubeck trade now. <laughs> Looks like not really. We're collecting like 0.22 ducats, but it could be better. By the way, talking about ducats, we have 1000 ducats and we're not spending them on anything. Hmm. Should we be trying to build more buildings? Probably yes. What kind of buildings we actually could afford? Regimental camps. Yeah, I already have a couple of them. Hmm. What about barracks? 23,000 manpower. Might as well go and get some extra barracks. Somewhere where we could get a lot, like Cleveland at least. It's gonna get one barrack in here. I might as well go and plop some of these regimental camps down. Not in, in the uh, newly conquered provinces, because they probably have some amount of... Uh, uh, some amount of autonomy. Yeah, they definitely do. Let's go and try to place it where. Do we have... S okay, Königsberg. Uh, do we have regimental camp in there? We don't. Let's go and build it in here. And like Latgalia. Sure, why not? Mm. And that should be enough for now. Mm, and I guess we're gonna not gonna be really... Not gonna be really contributing much else to this war. We could like go and send our light fleet to... Kill Danish, to kill Danish fleet to open this trade, but I don't really care about that, so I guess not going to. 
Because I don't want Sweden to get any more lands. Because this coast already is going to be like annoying enough. <laughs> what I could do, I actually could go on like Siege Down Burn Home. But I don't really have uh, like claim on that or anything, so it's not really going to help that much. I'm just going to give extra war score to Sweden. Um, by the way, has more. Oh, my participation is all, all the way down to 7%. Really? I've stitched down the war goal, you jerk. Mm, really, Norway, you're trying to blockade me with freaking transport ships? By the way, why is these ships not moving? It says the yard protection trade in Baltic uh, Sea, but it doesn't really look like it. Okay, yeah, now they're moving. That's weird, maybe it was some kind of bug, maybe not. Uh, but for now it's actually already time for me to have a break, guys, so I'm gonna do this. This war with Denmark probably gonna end in the next episode, and i probably not gonna be happy with the outcome, but we'll see. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like, if you want to see more, subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, you should do it, and I would answer as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.